It's your boy, AJ the Blackboard Traveler, and um, I'm here, man. Just had an interview with my boy, Mr. Uh, El Grande, as we call him, and they call him in South America. And uh, I'm out here in Medellin, Colombia, been having a great time. I know the first day I was kind of like, oh, man, I don't want to come back. I don't know, I was just kind of feeling like, you know, I guess hearing other people say, man, be careful. And I kind of got caught, and I'm like, you know what? I don't move like that. I don't ever be, um, I'm always a smart thinker. I don't want to come to a place and be worried and not enjoy myself because I pay for this trip. And uh, I want to thank my homeboy, Garner, and my boy, G, man. G, G came out here. He was, G was the one that put it together. I know G and his buddies and them, they came from New Jersey. And uh, I had fun with them, you know, a couple of days, man. Good brothers. We had a good time. We did Community 13. We went up to the, uh, the mountains, did that. You know, we, we did breakfast at, uh, at DeAndre's, a spot. That's our spot down there. We went down, um, we went down to, to, the, to the market, to the, to the black market out there in, in, um, in downtown Medellin up at, uh, what's it called again? El Centro. Down at El Centro. Did some shopping, man. You know, and then some in Lepo Lotto on the, on the street vendors, man. We had a good time. Uh, it, it, was, it, was, it was something to experience, man. Try to edit all that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't edit it then. These people want to hear the raw business. They don't want to hear no PG. They want to hear the raw business. Man, so yeah, we got it. What well, we was just talking about, and I know you probably going to edit this out, but AJ got a little, he got a little, he got a little dime piece coming through. And I was like, bro, you need to set the mood. Had the ambiance. When she walk in the door, she'd be like, oh. Telling all my business. This you know, what private. we doing? I'm private. Man. Tell I ain't all. say her name. You ain't gotta say her name. I ain't say her name, bro. You ain't gotta say hey, her bro, name. Hey, bro, you ain't you ain't Bishop AJ, bro. You big, you know what I'm saying? Bishop, no. You ain't Bishop Black, Black World Traveler, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man, you know yeah. it, it's it's about having fun. I ain't gonna lie, man. Life is about living, bro. Yeah, boy. And uh, if, and I just feel that I know some people be concerned about you know our well being, whatever. But man, I've never moved reckless. So don't ever, you know, think I'm moving. You ain't got to tell me be careful. I don't, you know, I try not to say nothing. So usually when someone say be careful, I just kind of let them say it. But to be real, man, I don't really like hearing that because I'm always careful. And I'm, and I'm not, a, but I'm always wise. I mean, bro, you can't live on the earth just every time you hear something, you just panic. Like, I mean, you know how many times they say the economy is going to fall in the U.S.? I've been hearing that since I was a kid. I'm 52 years old. I've been hearing that all my life. Yeah. Oh, the Fed, you know, the dollar going, man, when, when the dollar drops, it drops. Yeah. That's how I am by life. Same thing. Well, you know they ain't got no gold to put behind that money, man. So, bro, you don't, don't need right. no gold, People still you. working for it. People yeah. still got it in their bank account. And all money is is just numbers in a computer. Exactly. That's all it is, man. So, yeah, man, um, you, you go stuff. worried about all of this stuff, man. You're just going to worry. You're gonna, your stress level going to go through the roof. Your blood pressure, your cholesterol, everything going to go up. And you see, see what the thing that needs to be going up is your money. Exactly. All that other stuff exactly. stays down. When you, when you got money, you know your blood pressure stay a little bit. Low. It's, it's stabilized. When you got money, your stress level is is, is at a uh, optimal uh, rate. So, mm -hmm. um, you know all of these things that people get you to worry about. I, I let it go in one ear and and out the other, or I try to block it from going into my ears at exactly. all. Exactly. Um, but yeah, um, Medi Ying is not what people say no it it's not it's a lot not. of this old passport bros are getting killed and stuff that's I mean, it's happening true. it's happening but but it's clickbait if you watch the news in the united states you see how many murders we have at night all you got to do is watch the news there's not 20 seasons of forensic files for nothing exactly and none of that happened 48 in hours South all that stuff none of that happened in south no, america no it's not happening bro yeah they murdered the murder rates here are so low like when you you look at the murder rates of the world, man, the U.S. is leading every single country as a whole. Like a combined of every country in the world, we 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 have more than the, the entire world. Yeah, these these people about their business, but I mean, uh, back to the knock knock them down conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm about to lead this interview because I'm about to go try to knock something down. AJ about to <laughs> knock something down. You know, I hope he is. You know, I, I, I'm gonna be proud of him. Maybe be you bring, you bring it on, man. On, man. Slide. Slide on in their own play, but safe. You know what I'm saying? Like, my yeah. thing is, if it happens, it happens. It don't, it don't. I don't ever expect nothing to happen. I'm a chill dude, man. I, you know, I love enjoying the play. I love enjoying the culture. I love enjoying the people. You know, I've been there three times, man. I never, really, I never dated here. I just always was here. I never I ain't really dated women shit. or nothing. Don't, don't listen. Hey, to man, I'm just telling you the truth. I, I never edited, did. I hope he edited that out of the video. No, oh, that's, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's, I never have. So if it happens, it happens. But. 
know, it's a different. I get what you're saying, yeah, man. It's, it's all in fun, man. Me, like I say, bro, I don't have no expectations either, man. But you know, it just it, it just seems to you know fall upon me. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, uh, my wrists sometimes it's just it's yeah. just it's just uncontrollable. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> But, but yeah, man. But uh, yeah, th this is a great city. You got to see it for yourself. Um, have your own experience. Don't yeah. live your life in fear. No, please don't, man. And don't man, get outside the U.S. Experience how other people live. What what it actually does is it also gives you an appreciation for the country that you live in because a lot of these people don't have a lot of the things that Americans take for granted. The welfare system, yeah, uh, the yeah. government taking care of you, yeah, the government making sure that you have a place to live, mm -hmm. the government making sure that you have food to eat. So all of these things, people get food stamps and SNAP and all of these these things provided by the government. But some other countries, they get none of that. If they don't feed themselves, they don't eat. Don't eat. So, um, yeah, I mean, put it in perspective. Go home, go out the country, see how other people live, see mm -hmm. what their government is like and what their government does yeah, for their people. Exactly. And then it may cause you to have a different perspective on your life and the things that you have, and you may appreciate it just a little bit more. So, yeah. I know uh, I do, man. I mean, I look at the good and bad. I mean, I just trip on how happy the people are here. All the money we have in the United States, it's amazing when you see how mad people are. Like, they're so upset. And you, I come to this Latin America a lot. And it seems like, man, the people are so much happier here. They're very, very happy people. And it's kind of crazy, man, because you don't expect it to be like that. But it is. And this dude stood on the street, man, and had a, like a 30-minute uh, sunglass negotiation consultation. <laughs> and, bro, like, it was just out there in the open. You got traffic passing by. You got people across the street and other restaurants. So if somebody wanted to spy on him and, and, and look to set him up, that was the perfect opportunity because he stood out there and talked to the guy that was selling the sunglasses. Man, he went through about 40 different pairs of sunglasses, tried them on, the dude tried them on. Bro, like if somebody was like, okay, with his bag full of stuff that he had bought from El Centro. So if someone wanted to... Plot on him. That was a perfect that opportunity bad? to plot. Is that bad? It wouldn't happen. Hey, as soon as he go up the street and turn that corner right there, yeah. we we own him. Nah, yeah, man. Ain't like that. We, we we gonna get what's in that bag. I don't know what's in the bag, but we gonna get what's in there and see what's in that bag. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Serious. Nah, man. Nobody didn't do that. And people out here was you know, there's people out there that's begging the street. They're asking for stuff, and they're like we're hustling. There's people out there selling candy, whatever they gotta do to, to make a living. I support them. They come to me, ask for something. I support them. They don't lie to you. Know? Yeah. Because I rather support them than the minute you are hurting somebody else. Most people will rather try to hustle you than put a knife to your throat exactly. or a gun in your back. Exactly. You know. Yeah. If they show you a picture of a baby that ain't theirs and you give them ten dollars, that's that's hey hey you you got took that you got took. <laughs> you got took. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got you got to let the let, hey she gotta live. Let her make her money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I mean she could either do that or you know, try to try to flirt with you and have Pedro and, and Juan waiting for you in the alley, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just it's just all about how people choose to get there. So if someone's even if they're quote unquote scamming, I mean I mean you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, if somebody give you a sob story, people in the U.S. do it too. They give you, they stand on the corner and give you some sob story about their kids or something, and you give them twenty dollars and they go buy some, uh, buy a hit with it. You know what I'm saying? Some some meth or some some pills or whatever their yep. their habit is. You know what I mean? So it's it's the same thing. Yeah. Yep, camera's back on. Yep. Yeah, man, it's true. And I'm telling you, it's like life. You know, life is easy wherever you you make your life how you want it to be. You know, I just, like I say, every day I get out here, man, uh, the more I get out, the more comfortable I feel. I ain't gonna lie. I've, I've never been a person really scared of going out. I've been in a lot of countries in the world. I've never been afraid of going to, like, South and Central America. I don't you know. I, like I say, most people would be more afraid. They'd be, oh, man, you hear about the murders? I'm like, dude, you live in, you live in the Bronx. Like, you know, you yeah. live in a place where there's murders every day. Like, yeah. I don't know why people in the U.S. be so spooked about it, because a lot of people die every day in the States, you know, yeah. over, over sensitive stuff. And most people that's it. that's like doing things to people. It's usually people that they know. Um, it's usually some some beef or some some gang 
mm-hmm. retaliation type stuff is yeah. it's usually got something to do with those people that are yeah. into it with each other. Most people are not just gonna pick out some random person to do anything to. Yeah, you know, course, robbery and things like that, of course, the person's gonna be random. But um, but yeah, I mean, this place, I knew when I was in the immigration line in the airport coming in, mm-hmm. it was gonna be a good time. Mm-hmm. Took me about an hour and a half to get through immigration because that line was long. But yeah, so. why that line was long, I was observing people. I was looking at the Colombians. Mm-hmm. I was looking at the Americans coming in. And I was observing people. And as we kind of went through the line, I started talking to people. I started mm-hmm. striking up conversations. I met people. I have their phone number. They know my name. I know their name. Mm-hmm. And a guy that I met in the immigration line, we was eating in waffles yeah. and crepes. What yep, did he do? Yep. He walked right in. He was like, he was oh. like yo, bro, what's going yeah, on? Man. He dapped me up. Like, yeah, man. I saw him right there. I mean, yeah, you know, every place is dangerous in the world. So uh, I don't know. I just, I just think that people just focus on the news and be looking for stuff so much. I don't know why. You know, and I know this is part of the nature of a human being. But people in the quick say, "Man, you see that article?" No, I didn't. I haven't had a girl holding a dick with a chick out here. Uh, it's, it's the first date I ever had out of the three times I came. I had a date with her when I first got here this time. And when we talking, she told me she told me this article about how two hundred something Americans or, or, or uh, foreigners got killed in Medellin or in, the, in uh, Colombia the last year. And I'm like, why are you showing me this? You know, because she's like, oh yeah, it happens. I'm like, okay, but I'm not trying to hear that. So I kind of, you know, why you want to show me that when I'm here visiting? Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's weird. It's like, a damper on your trip. It does, man. It puts you in a negative headspace. Yeah. And then it's like, okay. Um, yeah, that that may have happened, but it's like when you hear uh, negative things about a place, um, I get how that could make you want to do something different. But the first thing I hear when tell someone you're going to Colombia and see what the yeah. re- the first response is going to be. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Is it Columbia dangerous? Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> Why would you want to go there? It's like, did you, you realize yeah. that my neighborhood is dangerous? My country is the most dangerous country in the world? Yeah, why would you want to go there? And it's, it's like, yeah, I, I know it's, they, you, you look at the travel advisory. You see what level it is. You see what's going on in the country. The travel advisory kind of lets you know what areas to kind of absolutely stay away from. They say, hey, they're having a revolution over here. You mm-hmm. don't want to go there. You don't want to go here. If you're in Colombia, don't mess around and hit the border of Venezuela mm-hmm. because they exactly. might detain you and it's going yeah, to be a bad exactly. So exactly. just do your research. Um, but all of this clickbait from YouTubers and things like that, man, listen, um, if you allow that to keep you from doing certain things, then allow it to, to do so. But Airbnb, Uber, Google Translator, has changed the game on travel. Smartphones have changed yes, the game yeah, on yeah, travel. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. have made it more safe. Of course. Even if you don't speak the language, language or exactly. not fluent in the language. Bro, we done had whole conversations with people on the Google Translate. Exactly. Hey, man. Yeah. Hit that oh, button. Yep. They, they talk in their language. It translates it into English for Yeah. You. Conversations with girls. Best thing ever to create in the world. Chicks. Hey, what'd you say? Mm-hmm. Google Translate. She yeah. said, I speak through the Google Translate. It translates it into Spanish. We having a whole conversation on Google Translate. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And that date is sometimes better than the dates that you have with chicks that speak English. Yeah. Oh, I don't even get it. <laughs> in, in English, and I'm out in the country, man, I don't even get them. I'm like, damn. Like, it's, it's crazy. I don't even get no attention or nothing. Yeah, like, say, yeah. I want to be where I'm getting the attention at. I don't want to be nowhere where women ain't paying attention to me. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah, just being yeah, real yeah. with you. You're like, hey, hey, you coming to the casa? You're like, yeah. yeah it, ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with you being a, a weirdo or, or, you know, or oh, you can't get a woman. Nah, man, I just don't want to put up the stuff I got to put up with out there. I don't no, want to deal with it. No, like we're all grown. If you don't want to do nothing, just say you don't want to do nothing. I mean, I want to be eventually have been in a relationship, but bro, I'm not gonna sit there and just be settling or, you know, kissing your ass to kind of come around you. That's crazy. I don't get it. Yeah. The one thing they don't they, they these women, and regardless of what you think about them, we're not talking about the ones that work. 
Okay. On the street. We we talking about the ones that have real jobs. Mm-hmm. They have goals, ambitions. They come from good families. Yep. And they may be searching for a good man just like everyone else. Um, sometimes the Latin women do gravitate towards men outside of their country, not just because of money. And every woman mm-hmm. wants a man with resources. Let's of not, course. Let's not yeah, kid let's be real with that. Yeah, always. But also, they know that these men have so many options as far as women exactly. that they're like, uh, no, nah, he, he, yeah. he, he, he has 10 girls. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's an option yeah, thing for real. Deal with that. The option thing is real. I think a lot of people don't look at it that way. Uh, that's anytime you go to a place, I don't care where you are in the world, uh, whenever a man uh, has, you know, has more wealth than the women he's in, uh, he is going to have more choices, you know. If, in the, I mean, a lot of times when we, you know, foreigners travel to these countries, yeah, some of the men are financially in a better position. It's kind of messed up for the men in the country because sometimes the men in the country got to work their ass off, and they still not making enough, you know, money to to provide. So some of these women actually don't even make it easy for that man. And I was telling Ricky about that today, like you know, a lot of these dudes they leave because a lot of you can see that these women, if these women are demanding a foreigner. To do all these things financially, that means that she put the same pressure on that Colombian man or that or that man from from uh, Panama, wherever, and you know, and then he's gonna he's gonna bounce on if he know if you're not if he only can provide what he can't provide, uh, you can't expect him to provide provide more than that. So if you want more than that, you may go to a foreigner, but you might not get you not be happy either. Yep. Yep. And if he's not looking for a real woman, if he's not looking for a relationship. You're just going to be one of the ones that's going to be on the list. And that's it. But, uh, man, I I got a couple more days here. Man, but I've had an awesome time in, in Medi. Uh, I'm planning to go paraglide mm-hmm. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. We can definitely yeah. make that happen. I missed my flight, so I had an appointment to go paraglide. But me missing my flight, I actually missed my paraglide mm-hmm. appointment. So I'm trying to set up another one. If I can make that happen, boy, y'all going to see me on the camera. <laughs> jumping out the mountain or some shit. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna live our life. We're gonna have the best experience possible, and who knows whatever else I'm gonna do tomorrow. But uh, man, 24 hours in Medi, whoo, boy, that's a lot of time, boy. Especially yeah. for you, boy, uh, begging for change. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah he, man. He use my government name in these videos. Man. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like in your El Guay. We call him well, and when he's in Panama, they call him El Grande. Oh, man, we know, shit, we know it's El Grande <laughs> when he go down to the, the Panama. Yeah, yeah. On Tinder and WhatsApp, I'm known as El Grande, but nowhere else. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nickname, glasses, bro. Over there, yeah. Tinder and WhatsApp, I'm El Grande. That's his there. Yeah, that's his yeah. that's his alter ego. But I'm Ricky Swing in real life. Yeah. Bang for change on social media. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. You gotta you gotta yeah. you gotta separate the two. But yeah, this is the end of this video. We about to go get it in. Yes, sir. Hey, don't believe everything you heard about Medi. Believe all the good things. Hey, believe the bad things too, but come see it for yourself. Medellin, Medellin, Colombia. I fucks with you. Yes, sir. Uh, all day, baby. <laughs> Yeah, we out of here, boy. All right. Bro, live your life, man. I mean, if y'all scared to come out here, just don't come. The thing is, man, I live once. I'm not going to be out moving stupidly. I see what's going on. Sometimes I might over... I, I don't want to... I think one day I had a girl coming over. I might have overreacted, but I had to overreact because I was feeling it. But uh, the thing is, at the end of the day, man, enjoy yourself. Enjoy life. It's your boy, the Black World Traveler, and I am out.